Hello students, my name is Rolinda and I'm the Director of Educational Resources and OER Specialist at UA Crosstalk. Many of you already know me. Uh, I also teach four classes as a part-time job, so some of you may even be my students. Um, we at the ERC wanted to bring you some videos to help you transition to online classes. I'll also be helping our Student Success Center coordinator duplicate these videos in Spanish for our ESL students. All of the videos will be available on our, the ERC YouTube channel. I've been getting a lot of calls about how to use Blackboard because suddenly several of you that are in in-class classes find yourselves in online classes. Uh, so let's take a look at Blackboard first. So when we go to Blackboard, we can use the URL blackboard.cccua.edu or you can go through the college website. Let me pull that up. And I am using Firefox as a browser. Uh, Chrome is best if you're going to be using Collaborate and try to avoid Internet Explorer at all costs. Okay, when you go to the college website, you'll see Blackboard right here. So you can also access it that way. But once you get there, uh, the way you're going to log in is with the UA underscore and then your five digit student ID. The password is going to be the first letter of your first name capitalized, the first letter of your last name lowercase plus your full eight digit date of birth. So I'm going to log into mine. Once you log in, you'll see your courses. For this tutorial, I'm going to use one of the courses I teach. And I'm going to change the view so this, this is what you would be seeing as a student. So you'll just pick whatever course you want to work in. Um, most courses open up on the Start Here page. And when you get to that, you're going to see usually a welcome letter. Uh, some instructors are going to have the attendance policy available there. But remember, each instructor sets their course up a little differently. But the overall navigation is basically the same. Don't be afraid to click on these tabs and buttons to learn how things work. I'm going to select announcements. So if you're a student and you select announcements, these are going to be messages from your instructor. Uh, the entire class will see these and you should also get a copy in your email. If I select UAC information, then you're going to see some handy links to the ERC. I have some right here. but most instructors have that information you need folder and this is where you'll usually find your instructor's syllabus. Um, I have an ERC schedule here, a link to the ERC, the ERC YouTube channel, and a link about tutor.com, uh, the financial aid department, and UA Casa Tot Facebook pages. So it may be a little different in each course, but you're going to have handy links right there where you can get to what you need. When you look in the course resources folder, and, and again, instructors are going to have this set up differently. Uh, I have my syllabus here also. And this is a distance education student reference guide. And I created this years ago to help online students, so it's a little outdated but it can be tremendously helpful for online navigation. Let me open that up and show you. So it's a student reference guide and it shows you a lot of information about computer requirements, Blackboard basics, uh, logging in, and using the email 
It has step-by-step -step how to attach a file if you need to. The discussion board, the heart of the class. This walks you through how to use the forums in the discussion board, how to start a thread, how to reply uh, to comments that are already there. Uh, so it's a really handy guide and it does open up in another window. It's a PDF file, so you can also download it. So let's look at instructor contact info. Your instructors are going to have their contact information under this tab. So here you can see my email address, uh, my, my office phone, and on my syllabus I provide my cell phone number to students. And most instructors will have a picture. So let's look at the fun part, assignments. So this is going to be set up different in different classes. I use modules to teach. So if we select module two, this is what my students would see. First, they have an overview of everything they're going to be doing in this module. And then on the left, they would select each of these items to study what they should be studying. Like here, we have a video about narrative paragraphs, six main uses of the comma. So they study all this material and then we have assignments. So you can see here my students know that they have a narrative paragraph due. So let's look at the discussion board now. Okay, so I have several forums up and the students can use these to talk to each other, to talk to me, to share information, ask questions. So let's say I want to say something on thesis statement forum. I would create a thread and I'm just going to say thesis statement. What is a thesis statement? Now if I wanted to attach a file, I would use browse my computer, find the file, attach it just like I would in an email. I'm going to click on Submit. So, my question is posted. I can go in here and see it, and it shows the student's name or my name if I posted. And I could use the Reply button to answer that question. So it's really easy to use. Uh, don't, don't overthink it. Uh, just try things out, and if you have questions, you can always contact your instructor. You also have a send email tab, and you can use this. Um, I don't know that that many students actually email from Blackboard, uh, but that is an option, and the distance education guide I showed you will walk you through each step of that. And remember, if you don't have a computer at home, you can still use your cell phone to stay on top of your education. You can download the Blackboard app and keep up with your courses. Probably the most important thing to remember is that you are not alone. All of us here at UA Cossetot are ready to help. Outside of the classroom, virtual or otherwise, your most important academic helpline is the Educational Resource Center known as the ERC. You can reach us for help at any time by emailing erc at cccua.edu.